So if you have seen my latest video, you probably been wondering how I painted that lighting. Today I will show you how I did it using the divide blending mode. My name is Dawi Radwan and you are tuned to photomanipulation.com. If you are new here, welcome. We are not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos every weekday. It's free, easy and really supports the channel. Without any further ado, let's roll the video. Enjoy! So here we have the scene and before we start painting the light from the beginning, I first need to explain the techniques and how the uh, divide blending mode works. So I'm going to go to the next document and here we have two colors on a dark gray background. The reason why I chose dark gray background because the divide blending mode won't work on black color or the white color or a shade. I know it's not supposed to be a color, but let's all with it. So I have a layer here set to divide the blending mode and I'm going to choose my brush and I'm going to try and select the blue color and I'm going to paint here. And as you can see, even though I chose the blue color, I'm painting with a yellow color and that's because the yellow is the opposite color of the blue color. So that is the uh, first thing you need to know about divide. Whatever color you chose, divide will paint with the opposite color. So if I chose the yellow color here and I start to paint, you will realize I'm painting with the blue color. So without so with that out of the way how I know the opposite color of the other color so you can use the color wheel from this uh, option right here from this menu and it will show you that the blue is the opposite of uh, yellow the red is the opposite of cyan and the green is the opposite of magenta so this is the first uh, way to know but if you don't have the color wheel it's okay you can always make a new layer and chose a hard brush and chose the color that you want to paint with and then click on Control i to inverse it and it will give you the opposite color and then you chose that color and you go to divide and start painting so this is the second way the third way and the easiest way is to add a color balance adjustment layer and it will show you the colors and their opposites so we have re red here it's the opposite of the cyan and the green is the opposite of magenta and the blue is the opposite of yellow. So the, this is the easiest way and it will show you the colors and their opposites. Okay, so that's all you need to know about divide. Let's go and try to apply the uh, technique on our scene. So I was working on that scene and at the beginning I was planning to make it a dark scene and then I uh, accidentally discovered the uh, divide blending mode and boy did I discover the best blending mode ever. So here's what I did. I chose the color from the sky and I painted on the roof and I just start uh, changing the uh, blending mode till I reach the divide and just the way it painted the uh, yellow color on the uh, roofs like as you can see as if I added the yellow color and I start messing with the blend if it's just perfect the way it's added the light is just amazing it's not messing the texture and it's adding the perfect amount of lighting and yeah so here's how we are going to do it I start with that uh, building right here and I'm going to select a soft brush with the opacity of uh, sorry not a uh, soft brush the hard brush with the opacity of five uh, percent and yeah make uh, leave the uh, brush uh, hard because we need that uh, texture on the brush and we are going to change to uh, the uh, eraser and we are going to do the same thing select a hard brush with the opacity of 5% too and let's start we are going to add a 
new layer and we are going to select divide and I'm going to start painting the lighting on the roof and with the eraser we are going to erase it from the areas that we don't want the light to reach or touch and make sure to change the hardness of the uh, eraser because some uh, shadows of some objects start harsh and it starts to get uh, soft with the uh, distance we have the uh, sky uh, as a uh, our uh, the sun uh, on uh, our sky as a uh, light source and make sure to be careful about the shadows because as you can see here we have this uh, roof above uh, this one so it's going to cast shadow on the uh, other uh, roof so keep your mind on these small details okay so now as you can see this color and this color doesn't match this is more warm and yeah it's ha it has the uh, warm tone on, on it so the way to fix it is just to select this area and then click on ctrl b or just go to image adjustments and select the color balance and as you can see here the shortcut for this uh, option is the ctrl b so just click on it okay so now we want it to be more warm to match this color right so what you are going to do is to take this slide to the red side right but remember guys we are working on divide so if you are going to make it more warm we are going to go to the opposite of the red which is cyan so as you can see we made it more reddish and we are going to add the yellow color so we are going to go to the blue side and then the to cyan blue and now they are matching this one is more brighter to make it uh, less brighter just click on ctrl l to add the uh, levels and let's take the uh, mid tones bar and slide it to the right side or the left side to make it less brighter that's good let's go back to the ctrl b and try to make it more warm great now they are matching so this is it about the painting the light let's go to the other buildings and show you how i made the shadows details like this building right here we are going to add a divide adjustment layer and with the same color we are going to paint on the building don't worry about the shadows we are going to erase them with the eraser tool so let's select eraser and start painting on the areas that we know the uh, light won't touch okay so you are going to reach a point where you, ha where you have to be uh, more detailed like this one just zoom in on the image and start painting on the areas that you don't the light want the light to touch and here we have this uh, object coming out of the building so it's going to cast shadow we are going to make the shadow for it so this is all about the painting the shadows just be sure to have that uh, real life experience it's not that hard just learn the physics and if you have some 3d uh, experience you will uh, find that easy to uh, understand even if you don't it's not that hard just if uh, you think a, an object is coming out and it will cast the shadow just paint the shadow for it and B to paint the lights again if it's taken too long make sure to uh, increase the uh, flow you can always go back and decrease it it's not a big problem
just to uh, ensure to make sure guys uh, I'm not uh, going to be uh, detailed on this work as I did in the first time I was creating it because this one is just to uh, give you guys uh, an idea I'm going to be uh, more quick This is how easy it is <clears throat> you just have the you just need the experience of the uh, painting shadows of things that you believe that there's shadow it will cast shadow and then we are going to select it and make it more warm with the same exact steps with the control B and changing to the other side and as you can see now the color is matching this roof okay let's paint in, let's paint the shadow here with less flow and decrease sorry erase it from this area and maybe paint it here too and with a soft brush just take the shadow from here and as you can see it's greenish here so we are going to select it and make it more warm and reddish so this is how easy this is how easy it is guys I'm going to show you more on this building just so you can guys get the idea I select divide and we are going to paint here and on this building and you will always realize that some areas don't have the same color and that's because the uh, colors of the original uh, picture This is why I like the divide uh, adjustment layer, uh, sorry uh, the divide blender mode Even though this area is uh, dark it will Paint the uh, light in uh, a very good value, a very accurate value as you can see here. And you always can uh, select this area and click Ctrl L and uh, add more brightness to it. And look how it's even adding the uh, same color. So this is great guys to work with. This is one of the best blending mode I have ever used. It's very very useful to paint the light and it's not going to be my last time my last time using it as a uh, photo manipulation artist that uses the mouse to paint the uh, lighting and to be honest even if I have the uh, graphic tablet I will still use it because it saves a lot of time so you don't have to worry about changing the color and the lighting and go back and all of this stuff it will do a great job from the first try uh, from the uh, first try okay now let's start changing the uh, colors on this roof by adding a warm light to match the other roof maybe some magentas and let's select ctrl l and make it less brighter you can always uh, you can also uh, mess with the uh, output levels you don't uh, have to always mess with the midtones and again to the color balance and let's try to add the warm lights to it maybe let's take down some saturation no let's not do it I mean they are already matching let's select this one and change and make it a little bit reddish yeah that's better 
and you can do the same with the other uh, buildings as in the same way I did so in conclusion guys it's all about where to paint the lights make sure to select one source of light and apply it to, uh, all to the uh, other buildings and if you think that at, uh, an object is going to cast shadows make shadows for it paint it for it to make it more realistic and believable uh, and yeah this is all you need to know about divide this is a very uh, useful technique I recommend using it to paint lighting in your work and I have tested it on some other images uh, unfortunately the uh, outcome of the uh, general uh, results uh, didn't like so I didn't I didn't use for the uh, lesson today and yeah uh, the divide uh, option worked good it's just the idea of the works I did uh, wasn't uh, very good this blender mode is very useful I rec I'm going to use it a lot in the future and I recommend you use it too. Okay guys, so we are in the end of this episode. If you like the technique, please make sure to like and subscribe if you are new here and be tuned to my next course that I'm going to uh, show you guys how I worked on images like this from the beginning, how I, I added the sky and the atmosphere and changed the color of the shadows and all of that. This is one tip and the others will be covered in my course so please make sure to uh, get it uh, if you want to learn how I make my works and yeah I will see you guys in the next episodes and tutorials bye